All right, so lately I've been seeing a lot of these viral videos of people complaining about the cost of living here in, in uh, Canada, the cost of housing, the cost of groceries, the cost of everything, and how wages haven't kept pace, and just basically overall how everything sucks. And I even saw uh, Pierre Polyev reposted a montage of people making these viral videos. So in light of that, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys three tips on how to deal with the way the economy is and how to get out of that hamster wheel. So the first thing that I would do, and stick around to the last thing, by the way, cause that's probably gonna be the most helpful. But the first thing that I would do, actually, you know what? They're all pretty helpful. But the first thing that I would do is I would quit smoking, vaping, drinking, or any other vices that you have. Even overeating is a vice. I would quit everything. They're expensive. They drain you of your energy. They make your sleep quality worse. Uh, and you can actually look into this they increase your stress levels they increase your anxiety and they ruin your mood and like I said before they're expensive and they're just a waste of money but most of all they derail pretty much completely derail any positive progress that you're making in your life I'm pretty sure most people watching this video have been through a stage in their life where they're going to the gym consistently and making progress and then you have you know a one-off binge weekend where you get completely hammered you miss the gym three days in a row and then that's it everything's just downhill from there it's the same thing when you're trying to make money and get ahead or really just do anything positive in your life at all drinking smoking all these things are going to completely derail that progress not only that they're just a major distraction when you're trying to get ahead in life when you take away all of the bad habits all you're left with is good habits everybody has good habits they're just letting the bad ones get in the way of the good ones so if you really want to get somewhere in your life if you really want to get out of this hey i'm so broke all the time living paycheck to paycheck you really need to focus on getting out of that right you need to pick a path and focus and the problem with all these vices like smoking and drinking all that stuff is it makes you not focused on what you're trying to do. It takes your focus away from that. Now your focus is over here. And honestly, guys, I have never in my life had to apologize to somebody, at least not in recent times, for something I did while I was sober. The only time I've ever had to apologize to people is after a night of drinking. So that's one of my best tips I have when I cut all the vices out of my life. My life literally just took off like a rocket pretty much from that point going forward. So that's probably the quickest and easiest way to have more money and be on your way to making more money is cut out the vices. Number two, adopt the mindset that you're not going to outsave what is happening right now. This is no longer 1983. You can't work 40 hours a week, invest your large amount of disposable income into a GIC that pays you 15% year over year and you know have a detached house and drive a current model Ford F-150 and have seven kids. If you want to live comfortably, unfortunately, the only way to do that these days is to take on some risk and make more money. It's no secret that wages haven't kept pace with inflation over the last pretty much beginning of human time. But the only way that you can actually deal with that problem is by starting a business. It is way easier to make an extra 40, 50 grand than it is to save an extra $10,000 at the end of the year. And I know that sounds insane. Trust me, it is. And even to save an extra $10,000 a year is going to require you to make a pretty drastic lifestyle change. I mean, 10 grand a year is, you know, probably 800 bucks a month or something like that. That's a massive lifestyle change, even to save an extra $10,000 a year and an extra $10,000 a year saved up year over year at the end of five years is only going to be 50 grand and you still can't even pretty much can't even buy a condo with 50 grand these days. So you pretty much need to start a business unless of course you're a millennial in their mid thirties or whatever, you know, you, you've probably made some good money and built up your net worth just by buying real estate back in the day or investing in stocks or whatever the case may be. But if you're in your early twenties right now, mid twenties, even my age, you pretty much have to start a business or you just need to get into a career where your income is tied to performance, like a car salesman, insurance agent, whatever. And I know people say, oh, car salesman. I know car salesman is making multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So you just wanna get out of a job where your income isn't tied to the amount of hours you work and more so tied to your performance in that job. And the third thing, although this wraps into the second thing, but I'm gonna elaborate it more on it, is starting a business. So a lot of people are gonna say things like, oh, it's risky to start a business. I can't leave my career because I won't have income. It's this, it requires money to start a business. Luckily for you guys in 2023, it pretty much requires no risk 
and no capital to start a business. There are so many businesses out there that you can start right now. Like I pay somebody, uh, not on this channel, but on my other channel, I pay somebody basically 25 bucks a thumbnail for YouTube and they probably do them in like 10 minutes. So you can start, you know, learning how to edit YouTube thumbnails and then sell your services on Fiverr or learn how to edit YouTube videos and sell your services on Fiverr. Or learn how to edit short form video content and then, you know, cold DM people until you've earned their business. And there's so many ways to make money online now with basically zero risk. You can join the creator economy and start doing what I'm doing right now and start a YouTube channel and start creating content. And yes, it's gonna take probably years before that channel is off the ground or you've built any type of personal brand. But if you, the sooner you start, the better, basically is what I'm saying. And if you just stay consistent and never miss and always do it and make sure you're hitting those posts every week, it will happen for you. It just takes time. Nothing happens overnight. I'm definitely not saying it's gonna be easy, but it's not easy anyways, right? So I'm just telling you, like if you're young and in your early 20s right now, the mindset shouldn't be to save more money right now. Those days are done. They've been done for a long time. The mindset needs to change to how do I make more money? How do I increase my income? And if you're starting a business and you wanna increase your income, you're gonna to have to increase yourself. Your income will never exceed your level of self-development. So if you wanna make this much money, you are gonna to need to be up here. And this is the exact same principle for why people who win the lottery end up losing all their money because the level of income is way up here, but their self-development is way down here. So this gets dragged back down to where they're at. So it's an amazing journey. Start a business, you make more money, you get better. There's gonna be trials and tribulations, but there's always trials and tribulations anyways. Choose your heart.